Hello, it is Fishbow Geek, and I am back, and I'm doing a little bit of a test run. Uh, what's happened over the last month? Well, quite a bit. I got a, a new, well, not a new job, but uh, certainly starting to work from home was a new aspect to this, so that's been an adjustment. Also, a new computer um, to help with the job and everything, and with a new computer comes all new technical problems. Uh, going from the um, the old reliable laptop to uh, brand spanking new PC, yeah, I had to make some changes, mostly some upgrades uh, to get the actual recording equipment to uh, to work on the new PC. Uh, and also, you know, it's been Christmas, so busy with that, um, busy with the with the new PC, busy with the new job, uh, yeah. So I'm gonna do. So I'm now. I think I've finally got it all working. But I'm also gonna test the editing, which is also what this is gonna be. Uh, make sure all that's up to snuff. And uh, yeah, I mean, I've not been idle since I've not been uh, posting in the last month or so. I have actually been enjoying Animal Crossing. And this is uh, this is my house. I uh, I love this game. It's just so chill. Yeah, you know, this is like. Bathroom, clothes room, sort of, sort of, I guess, like a laundry room. Uh, also, where I decided to put my music collection. And, uh, oh, yeah, I was very happy when I finally was able to craft the gold mask. That took a wee while to get all the nuggets. Uh, I love my uh, ship in a bottle. That's so cool. Also, like the fireplace. I can just sit and chill in front of the fireplace. It's awesome. I can't wait to get, like, the house fully upgraded so I can have, like, a proper living room, like, guest area plus, uh, you know, a separate bedroom. Uh, I've got... This room is currently set up as a lab workspace type area. I'm actually quite proud of this room. Uh, not the walls yet. I haven't decided... Uh, I haven't found a wall that I like. Um, the floor may change but as a lab area i think it works quite well i've got my little newton's cradle i've got like a whiteboard my chemistry setup you know this is where i obviously work on my electronics i've got my uh my chalkboard which doesn't actually show anything i thought it did obviously not uh i'm not convinced i actually like the radio but it's kind of cool so it'll do for now And, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna run around and I'll basically just show off my island, really. Uh, if anyone's, if anyone, uh, who's watching is also into Animal Crossing, yeah, please, um, please drop me a comment and, uh, we'll see about, like, setting up some, uh, island visits. Uh, I've also... Also, yesterday, I was super chuffed. I finally got KK Slider. Um, so I've only just unlocked the uh, the uh, island editor. I haven't fully decided what it's going to look like yet. I mean, things are still really higgledy-piggledy. You know, I've got a little little farm area there. There's just... I've got, like, three types of fruit now. Let me see, or is it four? I've got peaches on my island. I found pears, and I was super stoked. And I've got apples. And, uh... Oh, obviously with the palm trees, I've got those. So I'm still looking for, what is it? Oranges and cherries, I think, are the only two fruits I don't have, as far as I know. I'm thinking about making this area, when I start editing it properly, into some sort of, um, I don't know, like, like... Or I might change that and make the town square area somewhere else, because I'm probably going to start moving people's houses around. Uh, I've got a few up here. Two up here, or is it? Th yeah, it must be two here. None on my top floor. None on my top floor. I. Uh, which. Oh, that must just be a shadow of a tree. Yep. Weird. Lots of lots of little flowers. Lots of little flowers. What else have I got over here? Yeah, I'm trying to get fleas. Apparently, you can put some like rubbish out, and they appear after three days, but. Maybe it's because it's cold they haven't spawned yet. I don't know. I'll have to 
I guess just keep waiting. Also, apparently, you can get them off of your um, off of your people. So I don't know. I might actually have to. I might actually have to Google that rather than just relying on word of mouth. Um, and then just get rid of this bit because I don't actually like this bit. This is just purely just to try and get flea for my collection. Uh, because I do kind of want to make this area like a big. Um, well, I've already started it with the stone arch, and I've got and I've got this. Uh, I think that was a gift from the the parrot that washes up in your island, uh, which is really cool. So I decided to make this as well, and I think this will be a nice little like rock garden type of area. I'm thinking down here, depending on how I edit edit the island, I might make like a little cafe. I was I was I was picturing like a little outdoor cafe area there, so I can get some cool stuff for it. Uh, which is quite cool. Uh, let's have a look and see what else we've got going on. I mean, there's so many things I could do. I just haven't decided on what on if if I'm going to do any of them really. Obviously, trying to grow some some flowers and stuff. Got loads of flowers, but I don't think I've got very many of the like proper hybrid ones. I've got a couple, but not many. Obviously, with some snowman stuff, I got that, which was quite cool. I might make this like a seasonal area. I don't know if um, I'm gonna get any other types of furniture like this for seasonal decorations, but I'm hoping I will. Hoping I will. I love my little Zen garden. I do love it. It's uh, it's just a very chill area. I'm gonna I'm gonna get the um, all four lanterns up here, uh, with all four seasons represented, which I think is gonna be really interesting. Also, yeah, actually, you know what? I got a recipe for gong the other day. I might see about getting a gong in here. That could be quite cool. Alright, so that was a nice little house. And yeah, because I could, I didn't really put much forethought into where all my people were going to live and how I was going to lay them out and give them their own little gardens. I'll think of something. I'll think of something. But yeah, I've just been just chilling out in, uh, in Animal Crossing quite a lot. I mean, it's... It's just a nice way to relax. Let's go and see my museum. Blathers is asleep, but let's just take a wee wander around and see what uh, critters and fish I've got. Oh, and, and my dinosaur collection is quite cool, actually. Still gaps. But I've got loads of stuff now. Where did I get the other day? Maybe it's not here. Wait, what is... What is that? Shark tooth pattern. Okay. Yeah, that's what, that's obviously what I collected. I don't know quite what's going on there, but it's cool anyway. I love coming to the museum every so often just to check up all the s skeletons I've got. Yeah, this is a few gaps. Oh, look, he's he's fully... Co well, he's not. <laughs> yeah, I, I love how many th how cool these things look. I think I'm still missing a wing. Oh, no, actually, I've got everything for the Creslicotus. The pterodon is... Missing part of its tail, I think, or... Oh yeah, I've even completed these since I last looked. Oh, yep, yeah, you're definitely missing something. Yeah, Triceratops. That's going to be cool when I get a Triceratops skill, isn't it? T-Rex tail. Hmm. 
<laughs> yeah, how cool does that look with the little asteroid in the corner? That's pretty sweet. Uh, what's next door? Yeah, I can see why Animal Crossing has been so popular over uh, lockdown, because honestly, it's it's just chill, it's good fun. Oh, lots of stuff in here still. Um, it certainly helped me to relax. I think I've only been playing it, like, maybe just over a month since I got it. I finally got my hands on a Switch. I was very lucky. Um... But yeah, it's just it's just a, a nice way to unwind, and you can just pick up and play it for five minutes. Well, you don't play it for just five minutes, but um, yeah, just play it for a bit, and then relax and go do something else. It's certainly been a nice uh, alternative to when I was like, if I had any hair to pull out, uh, it would have stopped me pulling out my hair when I was frustrated when I couldn't get a new PC to work. Because of course, why would the PC work? A brand new PC work. Uh, and then, you know, and the delays with shipping because it's Christmas and everybody's trying to get stuff delivered. Why does that look so weird? Oh, it's a wasp. I couldn't quite make that out. I don't think I've got anything super exciting in terms of the uh, flying bugs. What do we have here? Oh, just asking for displays. Oh, I thought I had koi, not carp. Where's the koi at then? Oh, there's one. I love, I love them. They're, they're, they're pretty awesome. Ah, it's not telling me what that one is. Oh, does this tell me? Nope. I don't know. There's loads of gaps. I'm guessing it's all seasonal. What's up in here? Is it more butterflies? Is this where the actual butterflies are named, is it? I can't remember. It's been a while since I've been in the museum. What this looks like. Wharf roaches. Oh, there's the hermit crab hiding out. And that is... Ah, oh, yeah! I was super stoked when I finally saw one. I'd seen the, um, the snowballs for ages, and I was just like, gotta find one, gotta find one. Soon, uh, yeah, I was super excited the first day I caught one. Oh wait, did I don't? Ah, I did. I donate. I caught it and donated it on my birthday. I didn't even realize. Yep, and I reckon when I catch the uh, the fleas, gotta go somewhere in there too, because I saw the trash can. I think I've caught all of these now. Cricket, more cricket. All these guys are kind of cool. The grasshoppers. Oh no, look, there's, a, there's still a gap for something else under there. I don't know what goes under there. Do we get ants at some point? I can't wait to see how this game changes over all the, uh, all the months. Oh, that's just the paper kite. Fair enough. Yeah, I haven't caught the um the spider that goes around on the ground yet. It stung me a bunch of times, but I've never caught. I think it's a tarantula. Yeah. It just keeps stinging me. I'm never quick enough to um, react to it. And then on the times where I think, oh, let's try and go and hunt it, I never find one. Super, super frustrating. <laughs> yeah. Are these all my pond fish? No, it's not all my pond fish because there's only one there. 
Could have sworn I had more goldfish. Yeah, I was super stoked when I caught him too. Oh, wait, yeah, little pond smelt. A sturgeon. I honestly don't remember catching a mitten crab. Or maybe it's just, maybe I've only ever caught the one of them. I've caught like Dungeness crab and the snow crabs. Snow crab is a pain. No idea, that's probably seasonal. I can't wait to find whatever goes into that display. What do we got in here? We got the pike. Oh, just the pike? That's a bluegill. I think, again, that might be something I've only caught once. Black bass is nice. There's the carp. There's McCoy. Well, that must be for the bitterling. Yeah, look at that cute little guy. Uh, yeah, room off this way. I think this is my ocean fish. There we go. I think that's what is that? Anchovies? Yep. Yeah. And chippies are quite cool. Again, I think I'm missing loads from in here. Horse mackerel. Yep, yeah, I've caught way more than that. I don't know where they all are. Oh, no, wrong way. I love this little area with the suit. Look how cool the oarfish is. Is that not the coolest thing ever? Oh, look, little sea pig. Oh, it's just going to be for those. Yeah, barrel eyes, quite interesting. I'm so stoked. I actually caught one of those this morning. They're not worth very much, as it turns out. I like the football fish as well. Uh, that must be telling me... Which one tells me about the crabs? Because I can see it, unless it's just listed somewhere else. Oh, no, there it is. Snow crab. Oh, where's my Tungeness crab, then? Like, they're the slowest, they're the easiest to catch. Yeah, I can't wait to see what else I get in this tank. Okay, it's not going to be showing anything. Ooh. I think there's another room. Go and have a wee look. Ah, right, okay, so that's... Yes, okay, so I think that takes me back the other way. This is where, like, loads of stuff is. A little seahorse. I don't know where the blowfish is. Hiding back there somewhere. Are you going to come out where we can see it? There he is. Like, is this is not the coolest thing ever? Coming up here and getting to see all this is like the... It's, it's great. Is that a sea cucumber and a spiny lobster? Oh, didn't see the shrimp there. Mm, loads of gaps. Oh, is that my, my little butterfly things? Oh, look. Oh, you can't really see, but yeah, you can stand on top of the glass tank. That's quite cool. There we go. That must be the Dungeness crab. Yep, my little butterflies. Oh, it's a red king crab.
ha. Huh. That's got to be something you see in that tank, maybe. I wonder what that's going to be. Wow, I must have only caught one of those. I don't remember catching that. Caught a few of those. Yeah, that's a good one. There's my Dungeness Crab. snapper oh is that what a dab looks like when it's swimming then because the way they, they hold them up it, it's really not that easy to see oh wow this tank is huge they've got loads of space all of flounder a wee squid the ray <laughs> creepy little face oh wrong way this way I love the museum. I love collecting things in games. It's it's that hundred percent completionist in me that just like loves all these things. So and I like the music and it's so chill and it's like yeah. Okay, so that's all the fish. See all the butterflies and I I think I've only seen this guy twice or three times. He does not turn up on a reliable schedule at all that I've been able to set to tell. I think I've only got. Like a, I've got one statue, maybe. Oh yeah, there, there was the first one. There was the, oh yeah, girl with the pearl earring. I miss going to uh, museums and stuff, and on art galleries. I'll believe he's been more often than I thought. I think when he first turned up, he turned up a few times in a row, and then. I haven't seen him for ages. Oh, maybe I don't have a statue. Oh, maybe I was going to pick the statue and I went for the picture instead. That's possible. Yeah, I totally miss going out and uh, visiting places like this. Can't wait for this lockdown to lift. And go out and do these sorts of things again. Like, one of my best holidays. Okay, maybe it's not one of my best holidays, but it's certainly up there. But one of my best experiences on holiday was uh, when I was going to Amsterdam. And I went to the... Uh, it's got to be the Van Gogh Museum, maybe? I can't remember if it was, actually, no. Specifically the Van Gogh Museum. But I remember seeing the, um, the Night's Watch picture. And that thing is just enormous. I had no idea it was going to be that big, and it just took up so much. Of that. I mean, that's that's the one that I can really remember. That's my standout memory of seeing the Night's Watch. I remember seeing lots of other things, but the the one that always comes to mind is is the Van Gogh Museum, and I think it was the Van Gogh Museum, and just seeing the Night's Watch. I I think I I stood there for for a while, just taking it all in, and it was yeah, it was pretty amazing. And, uh, I mean, I did do a lot of other things in uh, in Amsterdam, but that was probably the most, um, yeah, that was, that was a standout memory. Standout memory. So that's my museum, and there we go. We've got the Able Sisters. I've already been in today, but let's go and have a wee look. I've even got them uh, talking to me. We've already had today's conversation. Actually, do they have more than one every day? No, that might be it for today. So that's Sable's conversation. And the shop was shut yesterday because I was getting the, uh, the final upgrade into the big old Nook's Cranny. I think I think this is the uh, the final upgrade for the store because it's it's now filled its whole plot. And again, I'm going to have to start trying to decide how to move things around, but I'm I'm pretty sure this is as big as it gets. Uh I've already done my shopping for today and it's a it's a Sunday, so I've already bought my turnips for today. Actually, I haven't seen her. She was wandering around up top. I don't know where she is now. Oh, 
Oh, I don't need to fly anywhere. Yeah, this is a... Uh... <laughs> so yeah, this has just been me chilling out um, in between a uh, new job. Oh, is that going to be pink? That's kind of cool. Um, and yeah, this is this has mostly just been like a really long extended uh, test. Test one of the um, the recording to see if I finally got everything working as it should be. Uh, and next up will be the uh, the test of the editing, and then I'll just um, yeah post it on YouTube. If it makes it to YouTube, um, and and I do get to post this, then come on, stop being rubbish. Oh my God! Yeah, if if this makes it to YouTube, then you'll know that um everything's working okay and i'm going to start i will have started if, if by the time it gets posted i will have started getting caught up on all my games because i'm i'm so excited because i've got big plans for the future for the uh for the games on the channel i'm almost finished um dragon age 2 wherever because i i just completed the uh the dlc so I must be I must be right near the end of Dragon Age 2. And I I can't be that far away from completing Horizon. I, I think I'm I think there's still a bit to do with the DLC, but I don't think there's much. And then as soon as I finish the DLC for Horizon, then that's gonna be like Oh my god, come on. Yeah. As soon as I finish, you know, so soon as I finish finish the DLC, I've pretty much just got the final battle, and then that's that game completed, uh, which is something. I wonder if I can get anything on this wall to make it more interesting, or maybe I should just like look at how how I do that. Um, so yeah, so that's interesting. I've just uh, I've got a lot of stuff in Sky. I mean, there's to be honest, there's so much of Skyrim left to do, but. You know, I was about to go and do some interesting DLC stuff. Uh, which I think will be quite cool. Um, and then, what, what have we got next up for the channel? So, I don't think I'm going to dive straight into Inquisition because that's another huge game. Uh, so, I think once I finish Dragon Age 2, I might do Mass Effect 2. Because honestly, I love those games. Um... And, and it's been a while since I played a Mass Effect game, so uh, I wouldn't mind going back and playing some more uh, some more Mass Effect. So yeah, take a, take my shepherd and her well her new crew um, up against the Reapers again. Because uh, yeah, that's a that's a good old game. Uh, what am I going to do when I finish Horizon? I'm, mm, well, there's a question. I've got so many games. I've got loads of games that I've never played, loads of games that I have played, but just want to show off because they're amazing. Uh, what should I do next? Honestly, not sure what's going to what's gonna come up after Horizon. I don't know whether it's going to be, oh, I'm on full. Have I got anything trash? Um... Well, let's let a damsel fly go. Yeah, and uh, now that, of course, I do still have to recover the footage from the laptop, actually. But um, I've been working on a on a fable, a fable video covering all all of the fable games, um, in anticipation for uh, the new fable game coming out at some point in the future. Um, that's probably going to be the game that makes me get a new console, if I'm honest. Uh, I have no plans to get one yet, but, uh, yeah, when that gets released, I mean, that's, Fable 2 is the reason I got the Xbox 360, um, so, like, yeah, releasing the new Fable game is probably gonna, it's probably gonna be what makes me get the new, um, Xbox console, because I think it's console exclusive. But I've been I've been uh, going through some of that and trying to like just like record footage and just get all the backgrounds because I, I kind of want to do like an in-depth dive onto Fable. 
I don't know how well that's going to turn out. I'm not exactly the most eloquent uh, speaker. But, uh, you know, I love the series, so, you know, why not, basically? But that's not good. That's going to be something that's going to go up in the background. It's not going to be like a, a series. Have I accidentally? No, I haven't. Um, yeah, that's not, that's not going to be like a proper series thing going up. What's that? Oh, Colour Free World's horrible. Um... So yeah, in terms of future, I'm if I could, if I could, I would try and stand up and have a look at my collection to see what other options for game for the next game um, after Horizon will be. But I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Um, but anyway, yeah, thanks for joining me, guys. And uh, rest assured, uh, if you're watching this, then that means I'm gonna be able to start getting back into back into recording, back into schedule, and uh, yeah. This will be. This is basically uh, anticipation of my return. So, um, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you all you've all had a, a lovely Christmas and uh, a great New Year. And 2021 is going to go so much better than 2020. I mean, let's be honest. The only way things can go from from the dumpster fire that was 2020 is is up. So, you know, uh, best wishes, and I hope everybody's in the best health. And uh, yeah, take care, guys. Thanks for watching. Ta-ta for now.